All right. Hello and welcome. My name is Shauna. This is our Fit Essentials Intermediate Level class. This is going to be our first, last live class for the time being. If you are wearing the blood flow band, we have added air. So please go ahead and do that now. And if you, sorry, I had a message come through, got distracted. We have a chair here as an option today. We'll be elevating our feet for some box hand, hamstring curls as an option, or you can do the glute bridge. And also later on in the session, we'll either do some tricep extensions, or if you want to use a chair or a bench for some dips, we'll be doing some dips a little bit later today. We're going to start on hands and knees, warming up our wrists, because we've got a relatively moderate amount of work on our wrists today. So let's start by getting those warm. Come on in, let's go. So when you're ready, if you're not there to begin with, we're gonna to come to hands and knees. You're gonna rotate your palms down with the fingers pointing in towards you. And we're gonna do this with a little hybrid cat cow breathing at the same time. So you're gonna breathe in, chin to the chest, lift up between those shoulder blades, and then breathe out, soft arch, looking up and forward. If you're really tight in your forearms and wrists, this might not be an option. So just meet yourself where you are. Otherwise, twice more. And final time. Very good. When you finish that, let's sit back on your ankles. We'll go ahead and shake out those hands. We're gonna bring the back of the hands together, fingers pointing down. And then I invite you to draw your shoulders out of the ears, draw the elbows down, pushing the back of the hands together. Once again, just kind of depends upon where your tension is in your body. That's either might feel tight or not so bad. Wonderful. All right, a couple of wrist circles, and then we're gonna maneuver our way onto our back. We have two exercises for our first series today. Once we do a short stretch for the low back, Blue bridge and our down dog with the option of that knee to elbow. So first, as you come onto the back of your body, let's hug the legs in, a little double knee to chest, rocking yourself side to side. We're gonna start our bridge in about 30 seconds. If you wanna go deeper into your twist, I'm gonna go two knee twist for myself, arms out wide. Both legs come to one side as I turn my head, look over the other shoulder. And then taking it to the second side, looking over that opposite shoulder. If your body's asking for anything further, please honor that. Otherwise, feet flat on the ground. Adjust those shoulder blades underneath your body and start with our glute bridge in two, one. Here we go. Double leg. So pushing through the sole of the feet. Not trying to force that bridge, just lengthen through the front of the hips, lengthen through your low back. Looking to stay out of any kind of pinching. Sometimes if people have stiff hips in the front, you'll have a little bit of a pinch. I don't want you to push into that. Instead, wake up the booty, squeeze deep into those glutes with every rep. Use your intention to try to wake up more, mu more muscle fibers halfway through. Feel free to close your eyes and feel into your breath. Breathing in on the down, breathing out on the up. Maybe one more time. And two, one, and rest. Fantastic. Hug those legs in once again, and then we're going to roll on over, making our way into our first down dog. It's our first of two cycles for this warm up series. So, as you get ready for down dog, spread those hands nice and wide. Really see how much space you can create between your fingers. From the toes under, lift those hips up, and then we'll gently start by introducing that chest towards the thigh, like you're trying to invite your heart towards your thighs, looking between the legs and lifting your hips up nice and high. Good, from here, we'll start to add a little heel pedal, lengthening through the calves. Ah. 
Very nice. So we're halfway through. If you'd like to add some knee to elbow, I'm going to go alternating legs, starting on my right side, and then draw that right knee to the elbow as I exhale. I'm going to push back, extend through that hip, and I'll place it down. And same thing on the left. Breathing in, draw it forward. Breathing out, extend back. Wonderful. One to two more on each side. Still looking between the thighs as you push back. We're gonna go just beyond our minute mark on this exercise. And when you finish even number of reps on both sides, gonna make your way back down. And now as we move into set two, I'm gonna to choose to elevate the feet. You're welcome to stay with the feet flat on the ground for that traditional glute bridge. Elevating the feet helps to get more of the back of the thighs or your hamstring muscles. So you can either put the sole of your foot down or I'm gonna push through my heels on this round. So hands to the sides, and when you're ready, we'll start our minutes lifting on up, controlling down. And then you get to select the level of intensity. You know, both ways can challenge us. Both ways meaning either fast reps, moving a little bit quickly from rep to rep, or slower reps. Where you pause the clock. That's the version I'm working on right now. A little bit more slow and controlled, really squeezing in the top position. We're just over halfway. And also lengthen the back of the neck with this exercise. When the hips rise up, just gently draw that chin in towards your chest and feel the back of the neck lengthen. Last one. Two, one, and take that pause. Good job. Feel free to hug those legs back in, rocking side to side. We'll start our down dog in about 20 seconds. Wonderful. All right. And I'm going to take out the warm up version of the down dog on the second round. I'm going to go directly into that single leg knee to elbow. We'll be going 30 seconds on either side. You do any version that's best for you. Nice wide hand print. I'm going to start with the right leg. Two, one, come on up. So right knee draws towards the right elbow. Breathe out as you push back. Breathing in, draw it forward, strong through your arms. Nice straight arms. Waking up the back of that body. Breathe and squeeze the glute, pointing the toe as you extend. One more. Very good. Get ready to switch to your left side. And two, one, here we go. Breathe it in and out. You check back in with your hand print. Have you started to bring those fingers in close together? Can you wipe them back out? Kind of grip the floor with those finger pads. Feel the arches of your hands lift up. Take the pressure off your wrist. Last one, everyone. Ah, wonderful. And come on down. Good job. Let's come off the hands. Shake them out. So right now, I'm going to kneel for a moment with my toes turned under. We're going to stretch our triceps for a moment. So I'm going to sit back on the toes. Let's start with your right arm. Reach it straight up, chin in. Have a short stretch transition as we get ready for our next series. We're going to be coming up to standing. Feel free to add the side bend if you'd like. We're going to be doing some squats. Option to turn it into a thruster with that overhead reach. And we'll come down, holding that push up position with our renegade row where we alternate arms, pulling the arms up. Make sure you switch sides on the tricep stretch. And then we'll come back up to standing. Working a variation of some lateral movements and some cross crawl. Very good. Shake out those arms. Let's grab a drink of water as you come to standing. Yes. 
So we're gonna lift everything up and in. If you can balance while you drink, we'll roll through those ankles. Some little ankle circles here, balance at the same time. Turn the foot the other way. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's coming on to that second side. Anywhere between five to 10 in each direction. I don't personally count. Just feel it out. Good. Turn it the other direction. Fantastic. And next, we're going to stretch out those quads. So support yourself as needed. Otherwise, lifting that foot up, pulling the heel towards the glute. Stay nice and long. I want you to open the front of your body. Looking to pull that heel all the way to the glute if you're able. About five more seconds here. And switching sides. Set it down. Lift it on up. Same thing other way. We're going to be working for 45 seconds on each exercise with a 15 second transition. So I'm going to release that foot. And we'll be doing three rounds total. All right. So either without weight, I'm going to hold some nice light five pounders here on my first round. It's going to be the squat with the overhead reach first. So we'll start here in 15 seconds. We're going to have the toes, just a very slight toe out. Like I'm pointing one foot at 11 o'clock and the other foot at one o'clock if I had the face of a clock here on my floor. Elbows up and forward. You can also bring your thumbs to your shoulders and two. One first squat of the day. So take it easy, controlling down, and then nice and strong as you stand. Wonderful. Breathing in, sitting back, breathe out. And those of you that might be stiff through your upper body, you could go one arm at a time overhead. I want you to make sure that you're not feeling like you're leaning back or overarching your spine to reach up to overhead. So those single arm would look like this, squatting down, bringing one arm up, and then that next rep. I bring that second arm up. And like I said, if you're stiff in that rib cage and through the shoulders, that single arm overhead reach will give you a little bit more forgiveness, if you will, for that mobility. All right, almost to that 45, two, one, and rest. Wonderful. I'm gonna stick with the light weights and I'm gonna bring one weight down on the floor and I'm gonna come into a plank position with that weight underneath my chest. We know the motion, you can go ahead and start. Otherwise, it looks like this. I row one arm up, set it down, and then I come to the other side. If you have the style of weights that you can hold your hands on the weights throughout, you're welcome to do that. Sometimes we only have one of a particular size. So this is a way to adjust through that. And then other times the weight's just not designed in a way that you can safely balance in that plank. Obviously, another alternative would be to simply hold that front plank. Stay nice and strong, squeeze and engage that lower body. Eyes looking right between the hands. Almost there. Two, one, and come on down. Down to the knees and then back up to the feet. Fantastic. Once you get up to standing, we're going to start with just a nice general lateral steps with the arm swing. Very good. From there, once you start to get warm with that lateral step, we can turn it into a star step. We're going to circle the arms and step up and over. Nice big open circles. Practicing your balance here in disguise. So lift up. Support yourself really well through that big toe. That's going to be your base of support. Awesome. And then for the last 15 seconds, we're going to turn it into our march and punch on this series. Breathing out with that march. Sorry, breathing out with that punch. <laughs> we have a 30 second break coming up. Three, two, one. And take that pause. Nice job, friends. We back to those squats with the option of the thruster here in just under 30 seconds. So any changes you want to make with your weights? Okay. 
Well done. All right, 10 seconds till we begin. You can't hear it. I'm coming up off of a little bit of a head cold. So I'm gonna just stay nice and light today. Set the feet, eyes up and forward. And when you're ready, coming into those thrusters. Full squat, keeping anchored through your feet. Knees driving wide. Breathing in, breathing out as you push through the center of that squat. Think about driving your legs straight down into the floor. Wonderful. Having your eyes looking up and forward like you're at the ocean, looking out at the horizon. Good. 15 seconds to go if you want to turn up that tempo a little bit. In and out. Wonderful. Great. Great pace here today, crew. And pause. All right, we're taking it into that renegade row next. I'm gonna move up to a little bit heavier weight, but still working that same style. Wide handprint, set your feet a little bit wider than your hips. When you get there, you can begin. One arm at a time. Ensuring that we don't let those hips drop down. I'd rather see your hips too high than too low. It's not that the hips high is proper, but it is less of an impact on your body. And if we let those hips drop down, it's usually more troublesome for that low back. Put us into that arched position. Good, 30 seconds in, 15 seconds left. Keep squeezing that lower body. That's going to help your midline, help that nice, strong plank. Two, one, clear your space and coming up to the feet. Very good. We're going to work into a side shuffle this time. So when you get there, when you're ready, we're going to step and slide, swing with the arms. There we go. Blowing through. Oops. Staying on down. Fantastic. One more time down and back in your area. And then meet me in the center for that cross crawl. This time we're gonna do elbow to that opposite knee. Good job. Lifting up, shoulders back and down. 10 seconds left. Wonderful. Two, one, and there's our 30 second break. All right, one final rotation. Looks like we're gonna make it through about two thirds of this next round before we let out the air. All right, we're back to our final round of thrusters in 10 seconds. Let me go to that moderate weight this time, and I'm going to hold one weight underneath the chin. Two, one, and here we go. Another way to kind of modulate the intensity level of thruster is on every other rep. Just keep yourself in that squat. And on the second rep, I reach high to overhead. Something about going to that overhead reach that kind of shoots the heart rate up a little bit higher. It's one of the more challenging movements that we do from a metabolic standpoint. Good job. Those of you that are feeling good today, feel like you want that challenge. Stay focused, stay strong. We have 15 seconds left. Wonderful, good. Think about pushing your chest tall. Don't let it start to drop down. Eyes still looking forward. And three, two, one. Coming into our final renegade row. We'll let the air out after this exercise. Coming into that plank position, just like we talked about on our down dog. Starfish those hands, spread to the fingertips. When you're ready, you can begin. Alternating arms. Supporting through the heel of your hand. 
Fingers spread wide. Fantastic. We're just over halfway. If you do feel like you can't hold that plank, you can always drop it down to your knees if your hips are lowering down. And you can finish it out from a kneeling position here in the plank. Three, two, one. Resting there, clear the space. When we come up to standing, we're going to go into that grapevine motion, or also known as the karaoke. So it'll look like you'll cross in front, cross behind, and shimmy through the upper body. Begin when you're ready. Nice. Whew. Working that agility, staying light on your feet, helps prevent falls, and or to be able to manage any kind of falls. It's almost inevitable that we're gonna fall at some point in our life. So you wanna have the capacity the strength, the agility, the flexibility to fall well and not injure yourself. Good, when you make it back to your starting position, we're gonna finish this circuit with our march and punch. 20 seconds left. Good, if you wanna add a little skip to your step, like you're skipping on the playground, final 10 seconds now. Sorry, I forgot to let our air out before this will be okay. And rest. Now we'll lift out the air if you haven't already. 21 minutes. Those of you that are here live with me have been doing this for quite a while, so I think we'll be just fine. All right, nice job, folks. That finishes our second circuit. We have one third and final round. It's gonna involve a deadlift, our tricep work with either the extension, the overhead extension, or the dip. And then finally, our good old bear crawl. If you have anything going on with your upper body, it doesn't work to support on the hands for the bear crawl, then you're welcome to do a variation of what we just did with like the marching, the side steps. Just keep your body flowing. But first, we're going to do a little stretching to prep for that deadlift, especially. First things first, toe tuck stretch. Lift everything up and in, draw your stomach in. And then we're going to intentionally allow our spine to round a bit on this one. I'm going to drop my chin to my chest. And then one segment at a time, I'm just going to like roll on down, slowly bringing my hands down to the floor or wherever your end range is in the moment. Make sure you're not hyper extending your knees, looking between your legs. If you want to go into that ragdoll position, you can grab your opposite bicep. And then send your breath deep into the back of the rib cage. On your next inhale, we'll release the arms and slowly make your way back to standing. Oh, fantastic. And then the final stretch we're going to do before our next series is going to be our stagger stance. This full body opener here, focusing on the hip flexors and the upper body. So if your right leg is forward, left foot back, go ahead and raise the arm of your trail leg up. First round, we're gonna do a side stretch. So I get the shift of this hip and then I'm gonna reach over top of the head. At the same time, I'm trying to flex that glute of the trail foot and you can look on past that left bicep. Looking up towards the ceiling. Wonderful, bring the arm down, keep the legs where they are. Same thing with the arm reaching up and forward, pushing that hip forward. And now this time I'm going to take would be your right hand, reach up, grab your wrist of the left, and then a, just a gentle rotation, turning your torso towards your right side or whichever leg is forward. And now once again, try to squeeze the glute of your left hip. Feel the front of the body open and unwind, lower the arms down. Last one, we'll add that tricep stretch. So your left arm reaches up, bend like you're trying to reach for a scratch on the back, bringing that elbow up. And I'll show you from the side. This is one of the key parts of this movement, the hip shift pushing forward. And now I'll also go back that side bend. Good, if you wanna rotate more through the upper body, chin down, looking past the elbow on your left. 
peering up towards the ceiling or sky if you get to be outside today. Ooh, final breath and release. Wonderful. Little sidestep arm swing in between sides. All right, let's balance you out on the second side. So anchor down, left foot forward, right foot back. You can take the left hand on the hip for the first one. Breathing in, we'll get the shift of the hip as your right arm comes up. And then side stretch first, leaning towards your left. Every one of those, you wanna squeeze that back hip. Look up past your right bicep. Good, release. Rotation is next. Reaching back up and forward, you can grab the wrist. And now you're gonna to turn towards your left as you flex that right glute. As if you're trying to look over your left shoulder, one more breath here. And relax the arms down. Final variation, adding the tricep stretch next. So hips come forward, reaching up, bending that elbow. And now we'll go back to that side bend with the tricep stretch. You can tuck the chin in and peer past your left elbow. <sighs> Sorry, it would be your right. I almost made it all the way through without messing up the left and the right. Flex your right glute, final breath here, and release. Fantastic job. All right, so if you're gonna use the chair for your dips, have that nearby. I am gonna be doing the dips, at least on the first round. If that doesn't work for you, you prefer not to. When I say tricep extension, from either standing or kneeling, I'm simply kneeling to keep myself on the screen. This would be the tricep extension version that I recommend today, okay? But first things first is the deadlift. So you wanna get like a moderate sized weight, just depending upon your familiarity with the deadlift. I'm gonna be using my dumbbell here and I'm gonna place the dumbbell vertical. If you're working with two, you could also hold one in each hand. That works as well. And we're gonna come right over top of that weight. Neutral midline, really key here. So if you tend to kind of overextend that low back, rock the hips back, draw the stomach in. It's gonna be another round of 45 seconds with 15 to transition. Come in and into position, long spine, and begin when you're ready. Coming up strong, coming down about two to three seconds for the first few reps. Kind of wake your body up in this new movement pattern. Hinging over, standing tall. Good. And once again, there's benefits to moving slower. If you have any kind of hesitancy towards your low back, I do recommend more slow and controlled motions instead of being fast and more dynamic. Coming down slow helps to build that strength and awareness through your tendons, which helps support your joints. Good, final time and resting either your tricep extension or coming into position for the dip. For the dip, I'm gonna sit nice and tall to set up, draw the shoulders back and down, and two, one, here we go. So with the shoulders back and down, I'm gonna lower down and then up and lift. We do have 45 seconds, so if you wanna slow it down, add that bridge of the hips where you really open through the whole front side of your body, In, breathing out. I want you to avoid letting those shoulders droop and drop into those ears. So throughout this movement, you should feel like you're in a downward shrug. I'm pushing down and trying to keep, in, keep the shoulders back and down. 10 seconds to go. Eyes forward, unless you're watching your friends or trying to understand the movement, but try to keep your head and neck neutral and resting. Awesome, bear crawl or your blood flow work of choice. So for that bear crawl, hand position is key once again, wide hand print. I'm gonna start on hands and knees. My knees barely come off the ground and then I'm moving my opposite hand with the opposite foot. Slow motion, like you're trying to balance a little saucer. 
saucer plate on the small of your back. So we're trying to focus in, have really good midline control or core control. And then you'll start to feel that burn accumulate through the thighs, even with those bands off. When you're moving backwards, you want to emphasize pushing off the heel of your hands. And three, two, one, and take a rest. Oh, nice job. All right, we're going to take just over 30 seconds. We're back for our second of three rounds. Feel free to change weights on your deadlift. Chair over here, so I'm looking the other way. If you have uneven weights, we have two more rounds left, so you can follow me. I'm gonna hold my heavier weight on my right side. If you're mirroring me, it would be your left. And my lighter weight on my left or your right. All right, stand tall, stomach in. Three, two, one. Here we go. Now round two of three, you know your body. Choose what's best for your tempo. Some of you do have some pretty hefty weights there at home. So especially when you're working with those heavier weights, Control is key. Nothing to prove here. My goal is to always have you all feeling stronger and healthier when you're done. Trying to avoid any of those little aches and pains and tweaks. We're over 30 seconds in, about 10 seconds left. Stomach draws in as you bow forward. Squeeze the tush as you stand tall. And then when you're all done, set it down well, long spine. All right, 15 seconds till we start that dip or tricep extension. Posture is key, sit tall, draw the shoulders back, reach up to overhead, and here we go. Good. And 45 seconds can be quite a while to do those overhead extensions. So feel into your body if you need to shake it out before we get to the end. There's nothing wrong with that. Lifting and squeezing. 30 seconds in. You can also take a longer rest and get set up for that bear crawl early if you choose. Three, two, one, all done there. Awesome job. All right, second to last set of bear crawls. Starting on hands and knees in that tabletop position. Knees come off the ground and then when you're ready, one hand and the other foot. So we're working our brain as much as we're working our body here. Trying to get the right side of the brain to communicate with the left side of the brain. Moving both sides simultaneously. Watch you don't sort of lose that head forward. So just keep that chin drawn in. Eyes centered straight down to the floor. 30 seconds in, 15 seconds left. Well, keep breathing as we move now. And two, one, all done there. Woo! All right, 30 seconds, and then we'll be into our final round. If you are with me on the deadlifts with alternating weights or opposite weights, we'll switch sides. So now I'm gonna have the heavier side in my left or your right, lighter side on the other one. All right, everybody, if you need a little bit more rest, that's not a problem, take it. Otherwise, set that midline, squeeze the shoulders back, long spine, and two, one, here we go. Third and final set. Move well all the way to the finish. 
Bowing down, standing tall. It's like a hinge. Your hips are like the hinge of a doorway. Practicing how we'd like to pick up laundry baskets, grocery bags, help prevent injuries for everyday living because you're stronger and you have a bigger capacity than what's required for your daily life. 10 seconds left. Often injuries happen when we lose that ability to be able to manage what we need to do just to live and time. All right, I'm gonna step out on the dips and join with that overhead tricep extension as well. Three, two, one, when you're ready. Full kneeling, bring the toes under. Just don't want to go into that sway back. So ribs drawn in. This is what I mean by sway back. When I think ribs in, pull the ribs down in front. Woo. We're over halfway. Ten seconds. I'm not going to quite make it with this weight, so I'm going to bow out early, but keep an eye on your time for you. And three, two, one, all done with those extensions. Let's make our way down for our final bear crawl. Or you can march, punch, skip, whatever kind of blood flow you'd like to choose. Wide handprint. Start in that tabletop posture, knees lift up, and here we go. Final 45 seconds before our cool down stretch. Remember that intention of trying to balance that little saucer plate. Pretend that you're like a young child and it's like your grandmother's favorite saucer dish. It's your job not to let it break. Don't let her know what maybe the grandkids are doing with her fine china. You know, back in the day when you just did bear crawls and played on the floor for fun. I still get to do that with my dog. They find the older we get, the less drawn we are to be down on the floor. But there's a lot of benefits to it. We're almost done, folks. Final 10 seconds. Two, one, and resting there. Oh, fantastic. All right, shake out the arms for a second, and then we're going to do the first portion of the cool down here on the floor. We're going to get some mid-back rotations in. Sometimes we do this as a prep work for overhead work. Today, it's going to be part of the cool down. So start with your left hand down. Bring the right hand behind the head, and we're going to breathe in. Elbow towards that opposite elbow. Breathe out. Pause briefly in that open position. Breathing in and out. Really lift out that downside shoulder. Couple more. Very good. We're gonna do a few more on this side with the option to come down onto your left forearm, which is gonna take you a little bit deeper into that twist. And then three to five more on the same side with the left arm on the forearm. And breathe out one or two more. Fantastic. When you finish there, I'm just going to swing around and then we're going to do the same thing on the right. So starting with the right hand extended, left hand behind the head five times in this orientation. Really important to keep that mobility and that ability to rotate through your rib cage. Helps from having discomfort and compensation in the neck and the low back. I lost track. You're about five reps in. Once again, if you want to go deeper in that twist, you'll come onto your right forearm and then do another three to five additionally here. Especially with all those automatic cameras for the backing up the car, 
We don't necessarily look over our shoulder a whole lot anymore. Good job. From there, let's take it to the child stretch. Toes together, knees divide, reach the arms forward. Drop the hips back, bow the head down. And then turn that attention to the breath. Kind of feel like the back of the rib cage and the sides of your rib cage. Feel your lungs expand into that area. <sighs> Fantastic. And we thought of that. And now we're going to swing over onto our backs. Feel free to grab a drink of water on your way there. And then also, if you'd like a little assist, either with a pillow or a yoga block, if spinal twisting is uncomfortable for you on your back, go ahead and bring that around as well. We're going to do some book openers or some mid-back rotations. And it hits the whole spine. So as you lie down, hug the legs in to begin. Back to that little side to side rock, that self massage the back of the floor. And then we're going to keep the right leg hugged in as you extend your left. So once again, I have my assist on the left side if I choose. From here, you can use your left hand, bring the right leg across the body. And I can lift my block up if I want that extra support. So find that single leg twist that feels relatively comfortable for you. And from there, splay your arms out wide like you're opening a book. So your body is the spine of the book. Your arms are the pages. I'm gonna breathe in. I'm gonna bring my right hand over to meet the left hand. And I'm gonna breathe out as I bring my right hand back to the floor and follow the hand with my head, looking over that shoulder. Breathing in, reaching over, breathing out. Coming back open. I feel like I can go deeper into my twist. So I'm going to lower my block down, bring my knee a little bit closer to the ground on the left side, and then two to three more. On the final one, I'm going to walk the fingers of the right hand up and over my head like I'm trying to trace a half circle. Oh. Still turning that head, looking over that right shoulder. And when you're ready, unwind from that twist. In between sides, a little happy baby. Elbows on the inner thighs, inner knees, grabbing the, either the legs or the bottom of the feet. <sighs> and then try to take your imagination anywhere that would give you some easy breezy thoughts. Maybe you're on a blanket in a grassy field with some blue skies and sunshine, listening to the birds, maybe seeing some butterflies. <sighs> All right, friends, let's go ahead and balance you out. Now I'm moving my block to the right side of my body. I'm gonna draw my left leg up and in and then bring my left knee across onto that block. From there, remember your arms are the pages of the book. So I spread wide and then breathe in. Left hand comes to meet your right. Breathe out, trying to open as close as you can to bring that left arm all the way back to the mat. About five times total. Option to go deeper into that twist if that feels appropriate for your body. And then remember on the final one, we're gonna crawl that left hand up and over the head. And open all the way through. Grab the unwind from that twist. And I'm just gonna invite you to take a moment to lie flat on your back, legs fully extended. Start by bringing the arms up to overhead. Doing that nice, deep, good morning stretch from the tips of your fingers to the soles of your feet. And then when you're ready, relax the arms down, bringing one hand onto the area of your heart, one hand onto the area of your belly. And just take a moment to pause. See if you can feel into some grace. Expressing gratitude. 
for all the hundreds, if not thousands of little processes and actions that your body is doing for you day in and day out. Releasing any judgment of what you had for maybe what you thought you should have been able to do more of. Thank all of you that have been here live with me for the last couple of years. Much appreciation. And until next time, remember, life is meant to be enjoyed. So do something that brings you joy today. Talk to you soon.